We have Dr. Walter. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? Awesome. How are you? I'm doing quite well. So we're here for the UIUC talk show. How can I talk about UIUC or geese or whatever? What do you? What would you like to talk about today? So. I want to start with something that uh, I've heard many people. So we're both from a different country, so we, we understand we, we, we travel. And there's this notion that even when you travel or even when you meet people is that at, at first, I guess, you know, like going back to the travel thing, is that when you travel, you realize people are not that different and that exactly. they're all the same. Mm -hmm. So imagine a world where people travel more and they see that we're not that different, we're all the same people. How will the world look like if that happened? I think um, this is one thing I very much promote in all of our travel channels, my wife's channels, my kids' channels, all kinds of stuff, is if you do go out, you really do. You're right. You, you start to see this. Everyone's kind of the same. Like, I want my kids to have a good life. I want them to have a better life than me. I want to have food on the table. I want to have a job that, you know, I feel rewarded in, you know? And and once you start to travel, you start to see, it's like, yeah, people may speak a different language, dress in different clothing, but really we are kind of the same. And I think once people travel more and more, when you first start traveling, it's like, you're so surprised, Eiffel Tower and yeah. Arc de Triomphe, like you're so surprised by the, the kind of the sights. And then when you start to travel, you start to start to see, wait, the culture, the mm -hmm. cultural differences. But then you start to see the cultural differences aren't that big. And so it's more like little, little changes, little differences that are out there. And that's one thing I really love, like on our travel stuff that I do, we really focus on helping people learn about the different cultures they're gonna go to. So when you go there, you know the cultural differences. You start to see, okay, there's just little differences here and there, but we can get together and find ways to connect. You know, and so for me, I think if more people were traveling, and they got a chance to travel abroad, because I know unfortunately not everyone can, because it's not as much as many times you see like online, find out how to travel the world for free. That is a load of malarkey. Okay, like you've got to pay. Like it, there's no free lunches out there, and I think that's one thing that sometimes some of the influencers out there give the false impression that oh. I can see the world for a three dollars. It's, it's not the case, but if people do get that chance, if you do travel more, it really does. I mean, it, it's like we all think we're open-minded. We all want to think that we're, we're we're open to all kinds of new things. But the more you travel, the more you realize, wow, there's more stuff I can see. So it's not necessarily you have tunnel vision. It's more that your kind of peripheral vision goes wider. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can start seeing more and more and more, and you realize, hey, there's more out there. And what's cool is the more you travel, you start to bring stuff back home. So, like, at our house, you know, we, we'll use different words that refer to, like, what is time to eat? Na mesa, which is, like, at the table in Portuguese. Or andiamo, let's go in Italian, because that's what we have. You know, my wife, they everyone is basta, which is stop. Yeah. You know, but it's it's just one of those things. But also the food that brings in, how people live, it's kind of nice. Like, you know, I grew up in one of the families, like, when I was a little kid, we didn't eat dinner until really, really late. So it was never a big deal for me when I moved to Argentina. And dinner was, like, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And you see the little kids at midnight hanging out with their parents, having dinner. Oh, that was normal at my house back in the US. But my friends, it was really like, no, 5 p.m. We have dinner, like with grandma. You know, 5 p.m. is dinner, and then the movie is six, and then we're in bed at not eight. And I'm like, I was so weird when I first stayed at like my friend's house when I was a kid. And I'm like, are you guys having like a late lunch or something? <laughs> like I was so confused. And then, then, you know, as you get older, you realize like, no, no, different families have different things. And then you start to appreciate that, hey, families have different things, and that's fine. And that, nothing's weird. Things are just different. I think that's one thing all the traveling does. You just start to notice, some of the differences, not the weirdnesses, is, but mm -hmm. the differences. And you're like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And I think that's one thing that traveling more really opens people's eyes to, like, we're different, but we still have a lot of stuff that's the same.